I'm going to take a look at the informal proof of the angle-angle criterion for similarity. And you might remember talk, us talking about this when we uh, did the Pythagorean theorem proof. So this is a more formal look at uh, what the angle-angle uh, theorem is for triangles. All right, so, uh, recall the exercise we did using that line paper to verify experimentally the properties of fundamental theorem of similarity. Um, in that example, it was easy for us to see that the triangles were similar because one was a dilation of the other by some scale factor. It was also easy for us to compare the size of the corresponding angles because we could use what we knew about parallel lines cut by a transversal. So in your notes somewhere you have this written down and it actually included a couple more rays, but it's still the point about the angles corresponding and being congruent based on the fact that there are parallel lines. All right, so our goal today is to show that we can say any two triangles with equal angles will be similar. And that is what we call the AA criterion for similarity. And the theorem states that two triangles with two pairs of equal angles are similar. So that is the angle-angle theorem. Notice that we only use AA instead of AAA because we only need to show that two of the three angles are equal in measure. So why do you think that is so? Go ahead and formulate your hypothesis. Why do we just use double A instead of triple A? Why don't we talk about all three angles of a triangle needing to be the same in order to, or not needing be, to be the same, but uh, being similar between two similar triangles. All right, so your answer might have hopefully sounded like this. We only have to show two angles because the third angle has no choice but to be equal as well. And remember that is the triangle sum theorem. If you know that two pairs of corresponding angles are equal, uh, say they are 30 degrees and 90 degrees, then the third pair of corresponding angles has no choice but to be 60 degrees because the sum of all three angles must be 180 degrees. What other property do similar triangles have besides equal angles? You should know about this because it has to do with similarity in and of itself. Let's go ahead and write out your answer for that. Well, the lengths of their corresponding sides have to be equal in ratio or, as we say, proportional. Do you believe that it's enough to say that two triangles are similar just by comparing two pairs of corresponding angles? Again, this is just your best guess based on what you know. What do you think? Well, let's see. So for exercise one and two, you're going to complete these in your worksheet packet. You are going to need a protractor and a ruler since you're going to be drawing and measuring angles and side lengths. And we are going to compare these figures in class. So since everybody's going to come up with their own sets of triangles, once you're done with that, go ahead and continue with the video. All right. So what we need to do now is formally prove why this is happening. Even though we all drew different triangles with different angle measures and different side lengths. So if you notice, we have this triangle. We have two triangles, actually, one on top of the other. They share an equal point. They also uh, kind of simulate a dilation of one triangle to another triangle. So we're going to begin with this special case. Suppose that A is equal to A prime, and B prime and C prime lie on the rays of AB and AC, respectively. And again, this is kind of the case of two overlapping triangles. So in this case, we are given that, and hopefully you copied this down. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and forth between this slide and the next. But the angle measure of A prime, B prime, C prime is equal to the angle measure of ABC. And 
Conversely, the angle measure of B prime A prime C prime is equal to the angle measure of B A C. Notice that the latter is simply stating or saying that the angle is equal to itself because the, the prime angle and the original angle are in fact the same. So the fact that we have these two, this angle A prime B prime C prime and A B C implies that B prime C prime is going to be parallel to B C because corresponding angles are equal then we know we have parallel lines and that was from the module 2 when we talked about congruence. Now if we let our scale factor R equal to the line length AB prime over AB then the dilation from center A now notice it's not center O we've just replaced it with center A because that is one of the points on our triangle with the scale factor means that the line length AB prime is equal to a scale factor times the line length of AB. And we know from our work in lessons 4 and 5 that the location of C prime is in a fixed location because the line length of AC prime is equal to the scale factor times the line length of AC. Therefore, the dilation of triangle ABC is exactly the triangle of A prime, B prime, C prime. So, after you have written that all down, go ahead and see if you can paraphrase that in your own words. So practice uh, identifying which theorems are going to help us prove that similar or the angles are going to be congruent between similar triangles. Once you're done with that, go ahead and continue. All right, so here's one way that you could have paraphrased it. So we are given that corresponding angles, A prime, B prime, C prime, and A, B, C are equal. The only way that corresponding angles can be equal is if we have parallel lines. So again, that whole notion of parallel lines. So that means that B prime, C prime is parallel to B, C. If we say that the length of A, B prime is equal to the length of A, B multiplied by some scale factor R, then we are looking at a dilation from a center A. So again, we're kind of working backwards using the converse of these theorems and properties. And based on our work in previous lessons with dilated points, in the coordinate plane we know that C prime has no choice as to its location and that the length of AC prime must be equal to the length of AC multiplied by the same scale factor of R. So for those reasons, when we dilate a, a triangle ABC by a scale factor R, you have no choice but to get triangle A prime B prime C prime. All right, so this shows that two pairs of equal corresponding angles that triangle ABC is going to be similar to triangle A prime B prime C prime. In general, if A prime B prime C prime did not share a common point, i.e., or in example A, point A, with triangle ABC, we would simply perform a sequence of rigid motions, a congruence, so that we would be in the situation we just described. The, the key is that you have to have a shared point because that becomes your point of your center of dilation in order to get the parallel lines, which now gives us our corresponding angles, so on and so forth. All right, so here's example one. Sketch these figures uh, into your journal and make sure you label them accordingly because we have some angle measurements here. So are the triangles shown above similar? And write an informal argument as to why they are or why they are not. So sketch this out and then practice writing how do you know that these are similar. For the first example, um, we'll go ahead and just move on to the uh, description so that you know what we're looking for. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to continue on with example two. So, again, sketch these two figures and, again, answer the question, are these two triangles similar? Present an informal argument as to why they are or are not. 
don't forget that the point is to have a common point. Okay? So make sure that you have a common point before you uh, write your argument saying that these are similar. And here's our last example. Go ahead and uh, sketch these out and do the same thing. Are these two triangles similar based on the information that you are given? When you are done, go ahead and continue. All right, so here are the answers to those three examples. First one being yes, the second one being no, and the third one is yes. So make any adjustments or additions or revisions to your uh, informal arguments so that you can have those ready for our next set of exercises. All right, so you are going to complete exercise three through five. You're going to complete these exercises in the packet. And when you are done, you can check your work by continuing this video. All right, so here's the answer to three. Uh, they are similar, and again, using the same language that we did on the examples. Here's the answer to number four. And the answer to number five. All right, so in summary, we understand a proof of why the angle-angle criterion is enough to state that two triangles are similar. The proof depends on our understanding of dilation, angle relationships of parallel lines, and congruence. So we need to talk about all three of those things to come up with the angle-angle criterion. And we practice using the angle-angle criterion to present informal arguments as to whether or not two triangles are similar. All right, we'll see you in class.